Welcome to you. Fireworks, we hope, on the football field tonight. It's bonfire night. Martin Tyler and Alan Smith calling the game for you. In our game today, West Ham United against Stoke City. Let's have a look at uh, a player on each side, Alan, who could influence the game today. Well, they could. Two crowd favourites, two favourites of the managers as well, and you can understand why, given the talent they've both got. West Ham United's lineup is this. Adrian starts in goal. James Collins starts with Winston Reid in central defence. And up front is Simone Zaza. West Ham always associated with what well, is still England's only World Cup success, 1966. Bobby Moore, Martin Peters and Jeff Hurst. And they feel in that part of London that they won the World Cup for England. Well, yes, they do. They'll never forget those times. But I think they're looking forward to some really exciting years as well at West Ham. Neil Swarbrick is today's ref. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Mark Noble moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And in comes the header. So close to putting the cherry on the icing on the cake. Oh, I can't believe he's missed it. Missed the target. Missed a wonderful opportunity there. Joe Allen. We're going to have a substitution now for Stoke City. Nicely played through ball. It's down to the referee to stop the play, and he's done that. Substitution for Stoke City coming off the pitch. Number four, Joe Allen. Coming onto the pitch, number 27. Oh. Well, injuries are part of the game, and that's why the substitutes are already prime to come on and I'm sure this guy is bursting to make an impact while well, the injured player has gone off we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball and in the shot go well, they could have put that away but not quite Substitute coming on for the player who is hurt and can't continue. Phil Bardsley. They spread it out. Well, it rests with the referee as to whether to stop the play. That's what the laws of the game say, and he has stopped the play. Coming onto the pitch. He's not going to be able to carry on. A substitute is coming on. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. It's going to be a change for West Ham coming up. For West Ham United coming off the pitch. Number 14, Michael Obey coming onto the pitch. Four, it's amazing when you think for so many years, decades, there were no substitutions allowed in the game and teams had to soldier on with injuries with 10, 9, sometimes even 8 men. Um, that's uh, much better now, isn't it, with all the options that are available when the player is hurt? Yeah, quite often he's substituting when it's just a slight knock, but this one seems more serious and to prevent further damage, sensibly withdrawn. Good clearance. Glenn Whelan into the attacking third. 
gone for the through pass. Oh, he's through. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Oh, he showed great anticipation there. And the cross from Charlie Adam. He got back somehow to clear it off the line. Oh, he got a pat on the back from his manager after that, that's for certain. On the attack here. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. A timely challenge. Now that's a throw. Here's Zaza. And in goes the cross. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end it will deliver something, but it didn't this time. West Ham United are given a corner. Death row. Well, that's a wasted throw. He's given it straight to the opposition. It's a quick break. He can cross it now. And in he goes with the tackle. Well, he needed to time that tackle well. It's cost a corner. Could have been worse if he got it wrong. some problems 